I just want to say one other thing that uh, about Rodale Press, the health idea came through pre as prevention, but it all came from a letter of one reader of Organic Gardening in 1949 who complained that there was too much health in, in organic, organic gardening. <laughs> so I thought I was subscribing to a, a garden magazine and you got all these articles about the health of food. Your father must have loved that. He said, that's all I needed. You know? <laughs> so he said, i got to start this health magazine. And I told him, I, said, I think that's a really bad idea because <laughs> it's so controversial. And uh, and he said, no, I'm going to do it. And I, I asked him, I said, what are you going to call it? He said, prevention. I said, oh, that's a terrible name for a magazine. <laughs> and uh, he said, no, he sort of smiled and said, just watch what happens. And it was, prevention was very successful from its first issue in 1950. And that really saved Rodale Press. If it hadn't been for that, we would have gone down the tubes because uh, we, the whole work we've done in agriculture and gardening not only never made money, but it's always been very costly. Mm -hmm. So the income or the money that we needed to do the research and uh, to keep the organic gardening going. There were a few years when organic gardening was profitable, but it never really, there, those are minority times. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in the whole history of Rodale Press, this uh, the move into health was extremely important. And this letter from this reader yeah. <laughs> back in 49. Yeah.